just let me you're already on. Alright, good easy. Well, trilled. <laughs> In this installment, we're talking about stripping an airstream. Now, most airstreams after the year 1963 was an option for clear coat. Most of these trailers do have a clear coat on it that needs to be removed. A lot of these trailers you'll see will have blotchiness on the side of it where you can see the sun has kind of caked off some of that clear coat over time. So a lot of times, even if you're not polishing your trailer, a lot of people will want to just strip it so you get that clean aluminum look. Um, so today, the way I'm going about removing the clear coat is by using an aircraft paint remover. And you can go on Amazon and order this stuff. I would order about two gallons of this. There's also other brands that you can order called PPG Aerospace, like off of VintageTrailerSupply.com. It comes in a five gallon. You could use Multi Strip, which is a natural brand that comes from Home Depot, but I would warn you that if you're gonna go the natural route, uh, just be ready to apply it three more times and use a lot more money to do it. So it's easier to just go with uh, you know, something like aircraft here. While you're doing it, it's good to have protection if you are not outside if you're inside you know have a few masks with you wear gloves a lot of times you want to have pants and a long sleeve shirt in this case I have a short sleeve shirt on but um, I'm just gonna bank on not getting this stuff on my skin because if I do get it on your skin it, it starts to burn which isn't what you want um, you want to have something to apply it with so in this case I'm I'm just pouring it inside a like a handy cup like this and I'm gonna apply it with a brush um, so basically you put it on you let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, you'll be able to see uh, the clear coat bubbling up on the surface once you paint it on. And then once it's on, I find the best way to get it off is by using a power washer. Now you don't have to use a power washer that is a super heavy duty power washer. I was bought, I went and bought uh, this Royobi here on uh, Home Depot, over at Home Depot, you know, not too long ago. I was using just a regular hose and a pressure nozzle. You know, I understand, you know, you don't want to put too much pressure on the surface because obviously a lot of these still have interior in there that you don't want to mess with but this is about 1600 psi and it's really not that bad it's perfect for the surface so the process is to paint the aircraft on let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm not going to go there and be scraping everything off and because you can actually by using plastic scrapers certain sponges that are coarse if you're trying to scrub it off you're going to put those marks in the trailer and you're going to have to buff twice as hard to get that out so if you can uh if you could take a look right here, you can see the clear coat on the trailer actually right here. So you know what, so you know what it looks like. Um, see this kind of blotchiness right here? Where, see, I've already, we've painted it on this area here, but you can see how it, it just changes from this panel over. You can, you can see that right here. Um, and now we've, we've gone ahead and I remove all the trim, because underneath, underneath the trim, because this had trim here, it's all dirt, it's got clear coat that needs to be removed. So you pop off all the trim, you pop off all the lights, um, anything that's going to get in the way of your of your buffing and of your stripping. So mainly, uh, the main thing is to, to pop the trim off. Because if you don't pop the trim off, you're going to find yourself in trouble later on. Because you can't get your polisher in there accurately. And also, when you do take it off, you'll be happy you did. Because you'll see a lot of these have tons of dirt and just just it's not looking good under there until you get it all cleaned off. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this thing up, and then we'll come back as I'll show you how I use the power washer in just a second. is it you should do it either early in the morning or late in the evening so when I started the video it was late yesterday evening the reason for that is because you want the, the, the um, aluminum to be cool so that when you apply the aircraft stripper or whatever you're using if you're using PPG if you're using multi strip if you're using Klein strip if you I'm just naming brands off the top of my head that I've used right now I'm using the aircraft I feel like cost efficiency it's where it's at you can get it on Amazon 
I'd say this is a 25 foot trailer. It took about two and a half gallons of these for a 36 footer. I would grab three um, and that'll get the job done. So once we have painted it on and stripped it all off, give you a clean surface that you can go back and start polishing, you know? And it really comes down to doing this efficiently. Because if you don't do the stripping efficiently, you'll be going back and going over places over and over and over. Um, it is good to do it section at a time. So you, like for example, I, I focused on the whole back end, got the whole back end done. Then we moved, we basically worked from the front back and we got the whole thing stripped. So I'm gonna follow me over here just to take a look at the surface here, nice and clean. You can see where I painted it on in a couple little areas, like up in here. There's a few little areas that still have it on it, but you gotta remember the whole entire thing is covered with it. And um, most of the time, you will have it on the top crown and down. I have experienced it where it had baked off over time and you know you could, you could see it peeling, there was nothing on the roof, but I would always do a couple test areas when you first start just to make sure, okay, do I have any on the roof? Just a little test area. It'll bubble up within 15 minutes and you're good to go. Um, so anyways, this is, uh, Stripping and Airstream, a couple little tips for you going forward. My name's Colin Daniels. This is CF Detailing. Mm -hmm.